First off, what is statistics? And what's the case for t statistics? Why do we even care to study statistics? Well, statistics is a science that deals with the collection of data. And we analyze that data with some sound statistical methods in order to come up with an interpretation that eventually leads us to infer something about this collection procedure. And so when it's done well, we get good results. But when it's not done well, well, we get questionable results. And oftentimes, unless you're a statistician, it may be hard to see when those are great results or when somebody's trying to give you some, you know, questionable <laughs> results. <laughs> so my goal for this talk is to really try to awaken a conscious awareness of how statistical information is presented to us as a society and cause us to sort of question the things that we see on a daily basis. And in particular, we're going to start with some ways that statistics is misused or misleading or misrepresented to us. We'll then talk about some impacts of statistics on society, so some positive ways that statistics is used to impact our world. And then we'll conclude with how you can be a better statistician by Friday. Right. So let's talk about misusing statistics or faux news. Some people may pronounce that Fox News. However you, you decide. However. <laughs> let's watch a clip from Fox News. <laughs> is helping Sarah Palin. Her book tour has met new support. A new opinion dynamics poll for 2012 shows her on top. So let's let's see what that clip actually looked like. So let's go to that that graph. Palin was on top, 70 percent, followed by Huckabee. 63%, followed by Romney, 60%. Can anybody add this up on the spot? I know our, our Benjamin's not here, so we don't have the math magician, but maybe somebody else can sort of add those numbers up. What was that? A hundred and a hundred and ninety-three percent of people. Okay, interesting. Interesting way to visualize a pie chart. I've never seen that in my statistical history, but that's interesting. Let's look at another report that comes from Fox News. Did scientists falsify research to support their own theories of global warming? Fifty-nine percent say somewhat likely. Thirty-five percent very likely. 26% not very likely. I don't make this up. I, I don't make this up. So this looks like 120%. Okay. Okay. Maybe they were off a little bit. What's the difference between somewhat likely and not very likely? If it's somewhat likely, are you also somewhat unlikely? Right? And so this information is being presented to sort of lead you into a particular thought process. Right? Did they present theories to falsify their research instead of saying, do you think scientists had enough data to support their claims? Right? So the way that we ask it and the way that we present information is often trying to lead us down a particular thought path. And this is clearly trying to let you believe that, yeah, they probably did some falsification based on this poll. We're not just going to get on Fox, let's get on MSNBC. <laughs> MSNBC showed the Dow since Election Day. All right, and these are two different charts that they had on two of their shows. On the bottom chart here, it's got the Dow at Election Day, the Dow on Inauguration Day, and then the current Dow that was in March of 2009. And so the commentators were saying, you know, look, this, this guy, Barack, he's, he's killing us. Look at our Dow. It's, it's going down. You know, what's happened? Nothing's changed since he's been in office. 
Yeah, look at the data. The data supports it. There's this downward Dow trend. You know, I'm a, I agree. Yeah, there is a downward trend. But if we go back, and if you actually look at the Dow since October of 07, what do you see? Well, you know, we, we've been going on this trajectory for a while. Right? And so my argument here is not, is not necessarily in support of Barack Obama or, you know, anti-Bush, but what it's saying is that pre present the, the entire information, right? So clearly... Something is meant to be misleading when I only show you this tail end of the chart and I say, you know, something must have happened at this election day point when that's not true. What happened there had been happening since 2007. And so the take home here is that we really have to be careful how the media portrays information to us because oftentimes they're trying to convince us one way or the other.